Jordan the Warlock. Um, we're gonna keep Frostbolt, because it's the best card against Sue. Pretty good card if it is a pretty good hand if, if we are playing against Zoo. Nope, it is not Zoo. We are in fact playing against Reno Mage, it would appear. How many wins do I have with Mage? Way more than 500. Mage is maybe my most played class? It's Major Priest is my most played class. Do I want to just Frostbolt this? I don't know how much I care about this. I don't know if I want to use a Frostbolt here. Just ping it and play like an Illuminator. Illuminator is fairly unimportant in this matchup. I don't want to use a Frostbolt when I might need the, the resource later, I think. Is there any way to see the EU, EU prelim deck lists? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, which is unfortunate because I do think that... Uh, I actually mentioned on Twitter today that I, I, I think that it would be great if it sort of became a thing like it is in in Magic, that like you just regularly, you know, one of the things after any major event is you can just go online to, you know, any number of places to find the, the, the top finishing deck lists. That's just not really a thing in in, uh, in uh, Hearthstone for some reason. This guy's kind of annoying, I don't know what's behind it. You can Frostbolt this guy, attack here. I'm guessing he probably wouldn't play it unless he had something to get him off of it, but... If he does Malganus, we have no way to immediately remove the Malganus. I guess we, we just have another Frostbolt, and we have a lot of healing, so I don't mind too much. I guess if he doesn't have it, then... Then it's great for me, but... Oh, Draxus, Draxus is, a, is kind of annoying. Draxus is actually probably more annoying than Malganus, just because it has 15 health. But it does mean that our opponent doesn't have Jaraxxus to win the late game with, which is actually quite relevant. So it's not clear to me that this is actually bad for us. Just go and face. You, you do see that I have an Illuminator in play, right? So it's actually not clear how much I care about this tracks. I mean, obviously it's a 315 and that matters. But I do think that the threat of actual Jaraxxus later in the game is a bigger deal, so I think I'm happy that that happened. If he owls me now, that makes it much more difficult for him to possibly deal with a Doomsayer later too. I haven't found one yet, but... Alright. We definitely attack it here. Maybe just frostbolt this guy. Start wearing it down a little bit. We don't. We don't have any of our. You know, this guy getting silenced means we don't have a secret to turn on this. Um, I could Nova, but it doesn't really do very much. Interesting. And again, I'm not super worried about taking this damage just because I have tons of healing. Maybe just second to this and just like explosive sheet ping to clear off, do some damage to this. Yeah. We can kill this next turn with a ping, and potentially heal by up to full if we want. Fugan's annoying. We have we have Polymorph in our deck. We actually have two Polymorphs in our deck, so there's a Flame Strike. That's not great right here, because this still doesn't die to it. Maybe just Nova and play Elise, and then I could potentially Flame Strike. I could also just uh, heal bot and shoot this. Yeah, I like heal bot and shoot this. Okay, we have, we, there's gonna be bigger boards we can Nova to prevent a lot of damage. And our opponent has already used Owl, so Nova Doomsayer. If we do find a Doomsayer, you know, we're, we're, we have not yet, unfortunately. Demon Wrath. Okay. That makes this vulnerable to Flame Strike. So you can flame strike coin ping this, leaving this is just four health. Um, Cause is just like Nova and play like a vendor or something. 
or play Elise. I kind of like Nova Elise. Vendor is eh, maybe maybe I should Vendor before I Elise because actually the the time spent and the mana spent because Elise actually means or one of these would mean that the ability to actually kill this because I mean, Nova Elise Nova or uh, play one of those and ping one of these. I guess I can't quite kill it the next turn. Eh. It's close. We'll be able to kill one of them and then the other. Could have just played both the three fives. Oh dear. That's kind of a problem. Alright, well. It's annoying because it effectively heals this guy. That's actually one of the most annoying parts of it. Like, if it weren't for the fact that this, this like, is going to effectively heal as your axis after I flame strike, it wouldn't really be that big a deal. Okay. So we're going to flame strike. Drake, yep. It's another big guy. Let's find a Polymorph. Polymorph on Drake would be pretty good. He, oh, my opponent does still have um, Stalag. Though Stalag, with, I think Stalag is the last, like Stalag and Boom are like the last like big threats in my opponent's deck. He actually, he used Siphon last turn, right? So I actually think with Siphon gone um, and with, uh, with Owl gone, I don't believe my opponent has any other way to deal with a, very likely, any other way to deal um, with a, uh, I wanted to duplicate. Likely anybody to deal with, like, Nova into Dooms there. I guess, like, a, a silence, of, you know, they, if there's some other silence effect, maybe, like, a, a, a Shadow Flame on something could deal with it, but nothing particularly easy, at least. If I play Belcher, it'll just die. And not really accomplish very much. I guess I'm just gonna play this here. I'm not under too much pressure of, uh, of getting exploded. I don't expect my opponent has the uh, the uh, faceless combo if he has Stu uh, Stalag and Fugan. So, Implosion, okay. How rude. Um, what about Polymorph? I don't know if I want to necessarily want to Polymorph this now. I mean, Polymorph Sheep Ping and clears board. The, the Polymorph, I think, is actually more important, um, enabling me to deal with uh, with Stalag, though my opponent can't, or, or Thaddeus, depending on which one. Um, this guy is like kind of annoying, but not a huge problem, I feel like. I could just play Belcher now. My opponent can kill Belcher. I don't want to use my last Nova, because it's my only freeze effect and I still have two Doomsayers in my deck. I could just play Duplicate and just say go. Actually, we're just going to do this. Maybe my opponent kills this, and I'd rather he kill this. No. Nope. This actually works better for me, because this is going to have 4 damage on it if he kills this with this. Dr. Boom. Alright. Hey, Flavor Judge! Thank you very much for the 12 month resub. Hey, there's a Doomsayer. I guess I probably want to attack into this just in case. Well, no. I, I, eh. Yeah. Just in case something happens, like a Hellfire implosion, I don't know. I guess Hellfire... Hellfire could kill this off these, so yeah, I want to attack into this. There's Hellfire. Okay. And Shadow Flame, sure. Alright, so there goes my opponent's Shadow Flame. draw a card 
here. There's another duplicate. Why didn't I attract Drake into Boombot? Because I wanted to attack into the uh, like because if it didn't exactly Hellfire and Shadow Flame, like if he had Shadow Flame that he played on Doctor Boom, then I want to have damage on his four eight. I want to have that thing or the, the the Drake. I want that almost dead. It's specifically the combination of Hellfire and Shadow Flame that makes that not necessarily the the optimal play. Like we can still very easily win this game. Like this is actually not even like a particularly bad position. Polymorph this, attack it, attack, uh, attack this, or ping this. We want, and eh, we actually probably want to attack this, yeah, and then play Illuminator Duplicate. We can duplicate either of these. We definitely want the Illuminator Duplicate because we want the. Like, well, we're afraid of the Stalag. The Stalag's scary. We only have eight cards left in our deck, and we have another Polymorph. So let's Polymorph this first thing first. We want to get rid of this and draw a card. There's an ice block. Okay, so we don't actually necessarily have to play the duplicate here. We can actually just attack this. Play ice block, illuminator, Seiko. Like people saying save save poly for stalag. How do I beat the the Sylvanas that's already on the board? I still have another polymorph in my deck that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to draw into, but I have to stop the the the, the Sylvanas that's already on the board. I can't just sit back when I'm at almost no life and not do that. There's Stalag, and that's fine. All right, there's the other Polymorph. Hooray, look, we draw cards every turn. Interesting how card games work. So now, and this is what I was saying at the very beginning, when our opponent hit that Jaraxxus off of uh, Voidcaller, like I think that was good for us. Because now we're at, we're at a point in the game where our opponent I don't think has like great tools to actually beat us. Like sure he can have like Reno and such here, but like we, we have, we're gonna Monkey. Flamestrike, um, do I want a Flamestrike? I can clear this. I don't think maybe I do just flame strike here to hope get something small off of this, um, and also make these easier to, this easier to deal with. We're gonna be getting eight from these. If he gets a um, three two or, or a, I guess a two three we don't necessarily want to do. I think we do want a flame strike here. What 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 does our opponent have left? We haven't seen like a sludge belcher. We'll go to twenty three off of these. If he does duplicate them. I don't really want to duplicate Azure Drake. We're gonna cast Flame Strike. That's okay. We can kill this. We'll go to twenty-three. That's fine. We're gaining eight a turn from the Illuminators, so it's actually like this is actually an even particularly huge threat. Another heal bot, all right. Back up to thirty. We have Monkey in our deck, too. Like, we have three cards left in our deck. One of them is, is Golden Monkey. Okay. Doomsayer. It's pretty good.
Alright, so our opponent basically attacks us for five. If we play the Doomsayer, our opponent, our opponent basically has to kill Doomsayer, but then we he gets to kill our Illuminators, so we don't we stop gaining life. I think I just want to keep gaining life. Like, because if I play Doomsayer and he kills Doomsayer, then I think it's bad. I think I don't want to play Doomsayer here. I think I may play Doomsayer after I play Monkey. But I think I think this is actually bad here because because I don't want him to be able to kill my Doomsayer for free and then kill these. So I'm just gonna say go. I don't want Doomsayer duplicated, I want these duplicated. I I, I obviously can't play Doomsayer after Monkey. I'm saying the turn that I play Monkey, I play Doomsayer, then I play Monkey. Alright, well, there's more Illuminators. There's Belcher. Um, so, my last card is Monkey. <laughs> so I think I just play it now, because now... He has to, he'll have to kill it, and it'll just absorb an 8 damage hit and prevent him from being able to kill these. Or at least kill, kill both of these. Monkey's the actual last card. He has, he has Reno in his hand, I don't know what else. I haven't really been keeping great track. Probably like, you have a power overwhelming maybe? Like a, a dark bomb? I knew it. Just knew it. Alright, there's Reno. Alright, so now... Now we're gonna play Sludge Belcher first, I think, because Sludge Belcher um, is better than the average Legendary we're gonna get in terms of the tempo that we'll gain. And then I can attack this. He can kill... Yeah, that, that almost kinda like locks him out. I kill this, I play, I play Belcher Monkey. And his ability to get through Belcher and Monkey is pretty low, I think. I can get through Belcher, yeah. What do we get? Ooh, Anubarak and Mel Mechatork. Anubarak's pretty good in a, in a fatigue game. Also, Illuminator is pretty good in a fatigue game. So my opponent's getting fatigued for five. I don't know what these last three cards are. I, th I do think that one of them is Dark Bomb. I don't believe we have seen Dark Bomb yet. Um, but even with Dark Bomb, I don't really see a way for him to effectively get through what I have in play. Especially since he's fatiguing so fast. Maybe he has like a, a um, Earthen Ring Farseer? Like the Earthen Ring Farseer is this guy? BGH, okay. Well, I have no BGH targets in my deck, so. Okay, there's the Dark Bomb. Soul Fire. Okay. I do have a BGH target now, though. This is about the <laughs> about the nastiest thing I could I could have here. <laughs> he just played his BGH. I'm a Nubarak. What's up? Okay, so I just need to make it so that he can't get me to, uh, well, it should be three, right? We can ping a guy, attack a guy, we get a 4-4. Four, four. He's taking how much? He's taking six. So he's gonna take seven next turn, so we keep, we don't actually kill him with a new Barak and attack. Um, that's, that's kind of close, but, um, so I just attack this, get a 4-4. Four, four. I, I can also just play... Like, trade and play it again. Because he, he, he has, what, seven in play, so I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take, what, three next turn? Yeah. I'll just play it again. So he takes seven. So he can't get this off the board and kill the 4-4, four four, so he's gonna die. The 4-4 four four alone kills him.
I take three fatigue. Yeah, he just dies. <laughs> And he's dead. That was a really interesting game. And and it's funny because I mean, when that Jaraxxus came off the, the Void Collar, it was like, oh god, here's this huge monster. But the fact that he isn't gonna have Jaraxxus in a long game like that was actually what ended up uh, deciding by the time we got to fatigue. My opponent was way ahead on board because of that early Jaraxxus. Uh, but the the loss of Jaraxxus as an attrition tool late really ended up costing him. <laughs> 